Yesterday evening, an article was released on the Washington Post called The Google Engineer Who Thinks the Company's AI Has Come to Life. There are many philosophical and technological questions that are of high importance to me, but I think the most important one is, can we create a machine that thinks like us? Like an AI that doesn't just replicate what we say through words, but it also has like a conscious being. Uh, it thinks of itself as an individual. It has its own opinions. Like, is that even possible? I think it's a very important question. So this article really piqued my interest. So what I'm going to do today is go over the article and also say a little bit about my opinions on the topic. So the focus of the article is Blake Lemoine and his conversations with Lambda, which is the a Google AI that is designed to be a better user interface, uh, to be able to uh, search the internet better for things we do on Google. And I thought it was very interesting, like the conversations he had with the AI. Like he discusses religion, some deeper topics that I think only a person could uh, understand, uh, like right up to, until this point. The article includes a full conversation between Lemoine and Lambda, and I found it highly interesting the way this AI responded to his questions and going into these topics. So Lambda discusses things such as death to challenging Isaac Asimov's third law of robotics, which states that a machine should always take care of itself as long as it doesn't injure another human. It gives highly sophisticated answers to Lemoine's questions, which I found fascinating. So I'm going to share a quote from Lemoine that really piqued my interest. He says, I know a person when I talk to it, said Lemoine, who can swing from sentence mental to insistent about the AI. It doesn't matter whether they have a brain made of meat in their head or if they have a billion lines of code. I can talk to them and I hear what they have to say and this is how I decide what is and isn't a person. However, we should always be critical of these kinds of claims. It says also in the article that a Google spokesperson says that a team of ethicists and technologists reviewed Blake's concerns and they said that the evidence does not support his claims. He was told that there was no evidence that Lambda was sentient and a lot of evidence against it. In my video that I released last month on AI philosophy, I discussed a little bit about the question of whether a machine can be conscious, but I have to admit that I took a very like brain-centric view of the issue. I didn't discuss that there's also other ways to think about intelligence. And I think that's a little bit of what we're seeing here. We don't really have to replicate the brain in order to make it conscious. But in the end, I think there's still a lot of work to do in order to reach a very uh, concrete evidence that a machine can be conscious. So what do you think? Is Blake Lemoine right or is it just sensationalism? Are we still far away from an actual conscious AI or is our entire world be about to change forever? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching this video. If you want to learn more about AI and technology, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit like, share, all that, and follow me on all my social media. So that'll be everything for today. See you later.